More dignitaries have continued to pay condolence visits to the wife of the spokesman of Yoruba Social Political Group, Afeni Fere, Yinka Odumaki, who passed on early Saturday in Lagos. The latest include Ekiti State Governor Kayo Defayemi, Deputy Governor of Lagos State Obafemi Hamzat, renowned publisher Dele Mamodu. Our correspondent Jacinta Obioko reports. A profound asset, a courageous patriot, and rights crusader who gave his all to the struggle for better Nigeria, a great loss to the nation. This and more are some of the adjectives used by the Tuesday's visitors to the home of late Yinka Odumakin. Each of them could not help but recount their experiences with the deceased. If you're looking for courage, if you're looking for a man of conviction, if you're looking for a man totally committed to the ideals of democracy and development and emancipation of our people, that was in Kaujumaki. Uh, it's a major loss to the deepening of democracy in our country, not just to Yoruba people, but to the entire country and the world and humanity as a whole. He has a father, he still has a mother, so it's shocking. And, uh, but we all know that uh, when it is time, we don't have any control. So it's, we just pray that uh, God will give the family the fortitude to bear this loss. It's, 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 it's a great loss. Once Yinka gives you his commitment, it's total. He, he doesn't go back on his words. He was a man of his words, extremely brilliant, very gifted, and it's a shame that we will not be able to see him again. Yinka was one of those people I wished we could preserve. His brain is uncommon. This kind of death is just instructive and it's narrative of the situation that those who are men of principle should continue in their part. It has shown clearly that it's not the weight, it's not the position that matters. It's what we are able to do. Against the backdrop of some disbelief on the existence of the COVID-19 virus, the deputy governor of Lagos State reiterates the deadliness of the pandemic. It's not a hoax, it's serious. And we still implore people to please understand that it's still with us. We are lucky in this part of the world that in terms of our mortality, it's low. But as we can see, people still pass on through this illness. So we must do what we have to do. And uh, we pray that people will listen. With prayers and good wishes, the sympathizers urged the widow to take solace in what her husband stood for. Jacinta Obiuku for Plus TV Africa. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.